Millsap and volunteers so that you guys can go do a trends paint job on my place one year. I think it's amazing what you do. Thank you. So in one, uh, what we saw earlier in the show, you had used a pretty dramatic color on the ceiling. And the issue with that sometimes is that maybe you can't match it. If you want accessories or some things in the room uh, that are going to match that color, you suggest maybe try making it yourself. Why not? The Why thing not? is, yeah, because usually paint color is the last thing we choose. We get inspiration from fabric, from furniture, we try to make it all work together, mm -hmm. but committing to a darker color can also mean trying to find a specific item to create a one-of-a-kind bedroom or a kitchen. Right. So, do it yourself. Do it I yourself. Love those, do it yourself. Let's start with the headboard. Yeah, well, let's show them what a headboard can look like. We've got a shot of this, and yes. this is this is completely DIY. Completely DIY. Okay. It's very easy to make, and I'll show you. And the reason why I concentrated on a DIY headboard mm -hmm. is because the ceiling is gentleman gray. So yeah. the color was my base of inspiration to create the entire design. Usually, it's the last thing we choose. In this case, it was the first thing. Okay. So trying to find a gentleman's gray bedroom headboard would That's have tough. been a nightmare. Yeah. So I made it. Okay, so how First did you make all, that? First of all, all you need to do is this it stake um, wood plank, yep. wood board. Yep. That you cut uh, depending on the size of your bed, whether you have a queen size bed or a king size bed. In this case, I had a king size bed, so mm -hmm. I used eight pl 10 planks eight inches by 60 inches. The reason why I made it so tall and so high is because, let's face it, when you have a high headboard in a bedroom, it steals the show, it looks good, it really uh, creates the entire style. It's like a focal it's, point. It's a focal point and yeah. it's very elegant. It is very elegant, yeah. It reads luxurious, right? It does. So you so, put the plank board, you put some of this good stuff, the foam. Good foam. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to go with a high density foam because yeah. it's not like upholstery. You're not going to be sitting on it. So right. take the regular one. Got it. And um, as you can see, I let it go a little bit over. You know why? Why? Because when you're putting your fabric on top of it, mm -hmm. it leaves sharp lines. And oh, you don't want right. to have those edge. That's smart. But when you have a strong fabric like velvet, uh -huh. look what it does when I just pull it a little. You can see here. And when I pull it a little, look how it becomes. See? Yeah, you that's have the you sharp want. lines. Yeah. I just pull it a little bit, and then it softens the line. It creates a very nice look. Right. So it, it, it's much better in the end. And, and so we used saw, one of these. Do you saw? I don't sew. I, no. I, I, I don't sew either. Yeah. I can't. But don't I love to let hear that. that stop you from creating because a DIY. Because of this. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so you can staple gun it. Yes. Right? That's okay. okay. It's really it. Okay. So I pulled the fabric. I just staple gunned it all around. That's it. Very it's nice. as easy as that. Let's and when show you put them. all the planks yeah. together, yeah, yeah. you get this, this. That's the final result. Isn't that nice? So let's show them now um, a gorgeous bench uh, that you have in the space. We've got, you can see how it looks in the space. I, and it's one of those things where I, I can't even believe it's uh, DIY because yes. of the tufting and all the details. <laughs> you, you've said, I can do it, Tracy, you can do it too. Oh, You're going to yeah. show us how we do this. Oh, yeah. It's very easy, easy. Okay. So again, I've used wood plank. Yep. But this one is much more uh, thicker because, you know, really you're going to be it. sitting on it. Now you use high density foam. Make sure though that it's on the edge of the wood because you can't do the same thing. You can't go higher with right. the plant because you're going to be sitting on it. It's like a staircase. As soon as one is like two millimeters different from the it's other, a problem. It's, it's a problem. Yeah. So um, same thing using fabric, but in this case, the fabric is much more delicate. Yes. So when I'm pulling on it, it doesn't have the same effect. And since I don't want to break the fabric, I'm just putting an extra layer of batting in on it. Got it. So it makes the edge a little bit softer. In the in the last 30 seconds we have left, I oh, want yes. you to show us how you do the tufting because okay. I think that's the thing that would uh, would the be a little very, daunting. It's very easy. So you take the button, uh -huh. you take one metal wire, okay. and you buy those two dollars plastic needle. Okay. okay. All right. And you just go, you know, you drill hole before. Yeah. You just go like this. You bring the wire on the other side where you have your tufting, mm -hmm. and to attach it. Use a dowling like this. Okay. And just roll it like this in a rolling motion because if you turn it clockwise, you might break the wire. So mm. just roll it like this and look when you pull on it, 
You're getting the tough day. You're getting the tough thing. That's so it's pretty cool. Easy. So you know what? Simple project. You yes. get to commit to color. The only thing I did is painted the ceiling, did my DIY, use a market flea dresser yes. that I painted for the bedroom, and that's it. Beautiful. Easy as that. Sophie, good project.